Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to insert page numbers in Excel. This could be useful if you print your reports and want the page numbers in it. So to insert page numbers first we'll go to the view tab and here you would notice that we are in the normal view mode. We would change this to page layout. As soon as I do this you would see it says click to add header and as soon as I hover my mouse over it it shows three boxes. When I scroll down here it says click to add footer and similarly if I hover the mouse it shows three boxes. Let's say I want to insert the page number here in the middle box. So I would click on it. As soon as I do this my cursor goes into this box and I have this header and footer tools tab available. This is a contextual tab so it appears only when you click on this. Within the design tab I would go to page number and I would click on it and as soon as I do this it inserts this code here and when I click anywhere in the worksheet it would insert the page number and it would insert the page number on all the sheets that have data. In this case I have the data but I have uh, made it invisible so that you can simply concentrate on the page number. If I scroll down you would see here it says 2, if I scroll down further it says 3 and all the page numbers have been inserted. Now if you want to insert how many pages are there then you can simply type off and then again go to design and here say number of pages. So it would again insert this code. Now when I click anywhere else in the worksheet it says 1 of 18 pages. Similarly if I scroll down it says 2 of 18. So you can change these codes if you want. You can enter some text here. This is how you can insert page number. Now if you want some text to be visible only on the first page then to do that click on wherever you want to insert it. In this case let's say it's the bottom right box. I would go to the design tab and here I have the option different first page and when I click on it you would see it says first page footer. So let's say here I want to simply insert the name of my website. You can have the name of the company, the copyright information, the website address and I would click anywhere else and as soon as I do this you would notice that it only shows the website address here and when I scroll down it shows the page number. If you also want the page number here you can again come here and insert the page number as well. So I would say this of number of pages. So in this case it would only show this website address on the first page and not on all the pages. Similarly if you want some things to be displayed differently in even pages and odd pages then click on the boxes. Let me delete this and come to design and select this option. Let me delete this and now I would click on different odd and even pages and as soon as I do this see this would change as soon as I click on it it says odd page footer and if I scroll down you would see it would say even page footer so in this case let's say I want to insert the page number so I would simply put this code and I would click anywhere else now the page number would be visible on all the odd number of pages so in this case if you scroll down it doesn't say anything here and if I click on it it says even page footer so if you're using this option then you need to specify the the page number for even pages as well as odd pages in this case if I leave this blank and I scroll down it would only show the page numbers on odd number of pages now uh, this is how you can insert page numbers using uh, the view tab. Uh, let's see how you can use another way which is the page setup dialog box to do this. So to do that I would go to the page layout tab here and I would click on this dialog box launcher which is in the page setup group and as soon as I click on this it opens the page setup dialog box. You can also use this to insert page numbers so to do that I would go to the header and footer tab and here within footer as of now the page numbers are already inserted so let me go and delete it first just to show you how to use page setup to do this and I would go to this dialog box launcher here and within header and footer you can select the uh, format of page number so in this case let's say it's page 1 so this is how it would look if I go to page 1 of question mark then it will show me page 1 of total number of pages which is 18 
Uh, you can again use the different odd and even pages and different first page options from within this dialog box as well. And if I click on OK and scroll down, you would see that the page number has been inserted. In this case, you do not need to worry about the boxes and header and footer. You can simply go to the page setup dialog box and insert the page number from there. One important thing to note here is that if you are in the normal mode, you would not be able to see the page numbers. You would only see these page numbers if you are in the page layout view or if you print these reports, then you would see it. Another important thing to note here is that you can change the starting position, the starting number. So in this case, let's say you already have the reports, uh, a part of the report printed, and you want this report to print from page number 11. So to do that again, we would go to the page setup dialog box. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Alt PSP to open this page setup dialog box. And here within page, I can change the first page number. So I can make this, let's say 11. And now, I would click OK and as soon as I do this you would see it says page 11 of 18. Uh, one drawback here is that it would always count the page numbers in this report so it would not say page 11 of 28 considering that you already have 10 pages printed. So in that case what you can do is you can go back to header and footer and only print the page number instead of page number this of these many pages. Another thing that you can do is that uh, in this case if you scroll down you would see that after page number 11 page number 12 is the one right below it and then page number 13 is the one below it but what if you have the data across columns so you have page number one here and then you want page number two to be this one so you can change the order as well again let me go to the page setup dialog box here and to change the order go to the sheet tab and here you have this page order option so as of now it goes down and then goes over you can change this to over and then down and now when I click OK you would see this is page number 11 which is the starting page number we have mentioned and on the right I have page number 12 and then if I scroll down here I have 13 and then here I have 14 so this is how you can insert page numbers you can change the starting number and you can change the order using the page setup dialog box one important thing is that you would not see the page numbers in the normal view mode you would only see it in the page layout view or when you print these reports so this is how you can insert page numbers in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you and have a nice day.